For the 2017 update, SolidWorks added new functionality to the Chamfer feature. You can still create the standard angle distance, distance distance, and vertex chamfers, as well as two new chamfer types, offset face and face face. I'll activate the chamfer tool, and right away you can see that the chamfer property manager is broken into four sections. Chamfer type, items to chamfer, chamfer parameters, and chamfer options. Under chamfer type, you can select the type of chamfer you want to create. You have the standard angle distance, distance distance, and vertex, as well as the new chamfer types, offset face and face face chamfer. Let's go through an example of these new chamfer types. I'll select the offset face chamfer type, and as with most chamfer types, I can select faces, edges, and loops, as well as features to create chamfers on. I'll select this edge here. Under chamfer parameters, you have the option to create a symmetric or asymmetric chamfer. I'll select asymmetric, and now you can see that I have the option to set the offset distance from both adjacent edges. I'll set the first offset distance to 0.35 inches and the second to 0.4 inches. To better explain how the offset face chamfer type works, let me quickly bring up a drawing to show how SolidWorks calculates the chamfer. Here I have two lines that are parallel to the adjacent model edges. These two lines are offset by the same distance as I specified in the chamfer property manager, 0.35 inches and 0.4 inches. SolidWorks finds an intersection point between these two lines. From that intersection point, a line normal to each face is created. Where these construction lines intersect the adjacent faces is where SolidWorks creates the chamfer. Notice as I change the values in the property manager, the position of the chamfer changes because the position of the intersection point changes. You also have the ability to flip the offset distance by toggling the reverse direction button here. I'll click the green check, and the chamfer is created. I'll reactivate the chamfer tool, and this time I'll select the face face chamfer type. You'll notice two selection boxes appear for this chamfer type, allowing you to select two sets of faces. As I select two different sets of faces, you can see that a preview of the chamfers appears along the edges between the two sets of faces. The chamfer parameters allow you to define the chamfer with a symmetric distance, a cord width, two asymmetric distances, or a hold line end condition. Symmetric and asymmetric parameters act just as they would with the original distance distance chamfer type. Cord width allows you to set the cord length of the chamfer face that will be split equally on either set of faces. Hold line requires you to select a hold line which acts as a boundary for the edge of the chamfer. For example, if I clear both selection boxes and select these two faces as the sets of faces, I'll select this edge as the hold line and the chamfer between these faces will always extend exactly to this edge. The last thing I'd like to mention is the ability to convert these two new chamfer types directly into fillets. You can do this by editing the chamfer feature and under feature type selecting fillet or by right clicking the chamfer feature from the feature manager and selecting convert chamfer to fillet. You can also convert constant size fillets and face fillets into chamfers using either one of these methods. As I stated earlier, this option is only available for the two new chamfer types. If you try and convert one of the three original chamfer types to fillets, SolidWorks does not provide you with the option to do so.